Hello, everybody. It's E.T.'s babies. I'm sorry, my closet is open. Y'all see all that stuff? It's, it's literally blankets up there. Playtex bottle liners. And my mother's jewelry box is up there. Which I have to put the rest of her stuff on my shelf in here. For all y'all that don't know, my mother passed away a year ago from a rare stomach cancer. By the time they found it, she she only she only had like what not even six months. I think they found it. She was going back and forth in January, and I think by by my birthday she was gone. And I'm my birthday's in April. So it didn't, it didn't take long at all. She was in hospice. She wasn't even, she wasn't even in hospice very long. So I'm sorry. I, I had I'm going through an anxiety thing right now, and I'm trying to do something to. I already jumped in the shower. I got the windows open, all in the house. My guy just threw me through a loop this morning, and I haven't been able to come out of it. So, yeah, we will, um, we will be getting started on some kits today because I have some kits to show y'all that I painted a while back when I really, when I was on a bunch of different medications and I couldn't even think straight, them kits look nasty. They look gross. Matter of fact, I might just show them to you now before I even start painting because my mind is so warped today that I literally left my drink in the bedroom. See? I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all. Yes, I'm in my pajama, Queens. Let's say Queens 2. I can't even read that right now. But that's what the shirt says. Y'all probably can read it better than I can. It's up that it's upside down to me, so I can't really see it. We're not upside down, but it looks backwards. So we got this little cutie. I want this baby for myself. I love his limbs, but can y'all see the difference in my skills just within a year? <laughs> Yeah, big, big, big difference. So I'm gonna re-strip this one and paint this one again. So, you know, yeah. Even the ears, like, look at that. Oh, we, I came a long way, y'all. Oh, we, yeah. This poor baby look like, ooh, who did it? Shame, shame, shame. Yeah, so I gotta redo this little baby. Um, I have their COAs as well. Um, I have his COA as well. I have to redo him. I believe he's a newborn and she is a micro preemie. So I have these two that I have to do. I have their bodies. I got weight, everything for them. I just literally got to strip them. I might do that today since I have loads of irritated energy in me. Because, yeah. I do not like it when somebody irritates my soul and then they leave <laughs> and I have to wait for them to come back to finish what I had to say. And my guy did that today to me. He like flipped out today this morning. Well, he didn't flip out, but he called it attitude. And I don't like that. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do that early in the freaking morning and then you got to go to work and I can't even talk to you about how I feel about the situation. Don't do that. Because I don't care how tired you are. When you come home, we are finishing it because I know you didn't just leave in the midst of a conversation well i wouldn't say leave in the midst of a conversation but knowing that you got to go to work and piss me off and didn't go to work dude y'all i'd be so annoyed he just screwed my emotions up today and i i literally been doing my dt my bdt coaching is it it's dialect it's dbt i've been doing that <laughs> Since last week, this weekend, I've been reading my books, my paperwork, 
all my stuff that I'm supposed to be doing to help with my with my past trauma. And it just seems like I told him today, if you want me to continue doing the therapy and the classes and things that I'm doing to better learn how to communicate with you, then I expect you to do the same thing. If you do not, I will stop everything that I'm doing and I will go back to my old ways. For real, it takes two to make a relationship work. I should not be the only one doing it by myself. Like, no, no. So that's where he got my emotions at right now. He really got me irritated. My soul is frustrated with him. Like, for real. Like, I know he had to go to work, but don't do that. Don't pull no mess with me, and, and then you know you got to go to work. I'm trying to look at the hands. I'm sorry, y'all are out of frame because I got my little tiny octopus tripod over here. Okay, so this is the hands. I showed them to y'all yesterday. Well, this morning when I posted the other video up. And these is what they look like in light light. So what I'm going to do, because this has a little bit more red in it, in the tips. You see in the tips of his fingers. This one just looks regular. So I'm going to tip the tips of the fingers. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So they kind of, kind of look the same. But... There's nothing else to do to this baby but seal it. So I'm going to finish the hands and the feet and I'm going to seal this baby up. I'm ir irritable today, annoyed, and I just want to just have a new baby to play with. And I am almost done. I'm just not going to give him no eyebrows because my guy is acting like a butt crack. And I, I refuse to let him work on my baby right now while he's, being ir he's irritating my soul. So that's the feet. The feet look really, really cute. I like the feet. They look gorgeous. So I'm going to put a little green in the middle of his feet. Most babies have it. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to get started because I feel like I feel rambly. I feel irritable and ugh, people getting on my nerves. So you pretty much won't really see my face because I'm, I'm trying to. Hey, yeah, the room, if you, y'all see that? All that junk on the floor, I just, look, look, let me just show y'all real quick. Let me take y'all over here because this is how bad when my anxiety gets, how the room turns out. Like, y'all see this mess? I have some of my mom's stuff over here. All this crap is all mine. <laughs> Yeah. What I was doing this morning, how I ended up making a mess, is I came in here because my cousin, we had, I had bought two twin silicones a while, long time ago, long time ago. And yeah. And um, so, so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I bought two silicones from Gigi Beans on Insta on Facebook, and I don't recommend you go to her. She make boo boo babies, and she charges anywhere between. Right now, she's charging anywhere between twelve hundred to two thousand. I would not spend that much on no boo boo baby. I'm sorry, especially when I bought her babies before, and they are not worth it. But I, when I wasn't able to afford to buy other babies. Is that a red? I don't know if that's red. Um, Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. He really flustered my nerves. Um, can't even think straight. What was I saying? Oh. Um, forgive me. This video, this video is going to be so embarrassing because I normally don't come on when I can't fucking think straight. <laughs> But we bought the same, we bought, I bought the twins. So I bought a boy first. The first boy I bought, he was a, he was just a regular 
silicone uh he's between preemie and newborn but he's thick so he can fit preemie clothes but he can also fit newborn clothes so okay where's my red at so you know I ended up buying him from Gigi Beans. You know, he wasn't a drinking wet. I ended up turning him into a drinking wet. And then when I had moved in with my cousin, I had, um, you know, decided I wanted a second one. So when I ordered the second boy and finally got him home, you know, before I had got him home, I had gifted the first one that I had bought to my cousin because he was light, he was light skinned as heck. Like he looked Caucasian. And I was like, no, I told you that baby was supposed to be peanut butter. So I messed around and ordered the baby again, but had her paint him, uh, you know, darker. And let me tell y'all, when that baby came to me, it was a twin of the one I already had. He didn't look nothing like him. He had, when he came out of his mold, the whole side of his face looked like somebody added more silicone to his face so he looked like all lopsided i was pissed at her i was pissed because i had bought two other babies from her and all in all i believe i bought three or four dollars from her yep i was pissed because you know it's a custom so you gotta wait for it to get there she really didn't show me pictures like the pictures were always from the side of his face it wasn't dead in front like she always made sure he was in the right type of angle where i couldn't see the chunk it looked like Somebody smacked the baby right in the chin bone and his face swelled up. So I was like, dude, no. And I had already gifted this the first one to my cousin. Well, y'all, I didn't had her baby for over a year. He's been with me. I think he's been with me for almost two years. And let me tell you, he's been on my shelf. He's been on my shelf since I've had him here in this house. He's been on my shelf. And the reason why I ended up bringing him back home with me is because she wanted me to root him that she wasn't paying for. She wanted me to, um, um, Gigi Beans did not seal this baby. Um, did not, you know, powder the baby good enough. This is a silicone baby. And, and as soon as you wash him or wet him, he gets extremely sticky, like, extremely sticky so you know she didn't have no silk effect powder so she you know brought him over to me and was like she gave him you know she wanted me to give him a bath and powder him so he'd be soft and then you know i think i offered to root him but i'm like in the back out of that because no i'm not rooting him he's losing paint he got cuts of, of silicone missing out of his ear, his earlobe. Um, his private area was ripped open. Um, let me see, what what else did I find on him? I was so agitated when I was trying to fix this baby this morning that it literally caused me to have a panic attack because ain't nobody ever gave me no silicone baby for free. And if they did, you best believe I'm taking care of that baby. She not take care of him. And it, it pissed me off. It really pissed me off when I had him up there for a year. And I really never have been paying attention to all his wounds. The back, his knees are bent. He's a bent baby. So the back of both of his knees are ripped. His wrist, he got like a rip in his wrist. The corners of his mouth were ripped. Like I had to repair all of that. And it, it literally... Made me feel some type of way because that was my baby. He was a custom. I paid eight, nine hundred dollars for that baby, almost a thousand dollars for him, and I gave him to her. She, he was not like that. So, yeah, I do. I feel some type of way. I really do, because. You know, I, I would have thought, you know, you get somebody something for, for free. It's something of great value that you would cherish it. You know, you would take care of it. And apparently that's just the way I see it. Not everybody is. 
I guess, sees it the same way as I see it. Because I've been really, I've been blessed in the community by a couple of women when I was going through hard times that, you know, were able to do something kind hearted that I didn't ask of them. Um, I had a couple of two women in the community off, um, offer me babies and best believe I took care of them suckers and I was proud of them. I took pictures of them. I posted them and yeah, this girl not once posted online that she was thankful for me gifting her the baby. Not at all. She didn't even tell me thank you. <laughs> okay, so we got the hands to match. So, yeah, <laughs> I didn't even get a thank you for that. So, I'm just, I am so irritated with my guy. I'm irritated with her. She don't know why I'm irritated, but my guy already know. I've had plenty of words for his little tail. But for her, I feel like, I don't think I want to go any darker on his feet. No, I do not. Okay, let me see. We just gonna add the green. I'm finna throw his little butt back in the oven. And then we're gonna seal him. I don't know if we're all gonna do that on camera, but it's gonna get done. I don't even think I'm gonna put him together on camera because I just wanna do it, get out the way and take him in the room and play with him because I am severely agitated today. Uh, I'm drinking Thai, Thai Chi tea. I think that's how you say it. And it's a protein tea, which literally it looks like milk. I'm going to show y'all. I literally thought it was milk when my guy bought this mess. But if y'all can see in my cup, let me see if I can tilt the camera. See, it looked like milk, but it's tea. It's protein tea. So when I cannot eat, you know, when you get too overly stressed out and you just can't put any food in your stomach, you feel like you get that gag reflex or the food just don't taste right. He pissed me off at four o'clock in the morning. I haven't been able to eat since. So all I've been doing is drinking the protein drink and then I have a energy milkshake in the refrigerator that he um, blended for me over the weekend for my workouts. That's that's literally all I can have today because he screwed me over by catching an attitude for nothing. Yep. So we're going to put this it's not really a green, but I can never pronounce these colors, but that's the color we're going to use at the bottom of his feet. Oh, y'all, I think I'm going to go sit in the tub. I took a shower this morning. So, I think I'm going to go sit in the tub with some Epsom salt. Because I'm just really annoyed. I really am. I'm really agitated with him. And he, he going to be home in several hours. And I just don't even want to look at him. Like, I'm so irritated. Today has just been one of them days. It's, it's just been a really... A really rough day for me. Really, really rough. And I keep trying to explain to him, like, dude, I, I'm in this house every day. I don't go nowhere. I'm trying to help you with the rent. So pretty much all of my money that I get from Social Security go towards the rent, you know. I don't even get to keep $5. And I be trying to explain that to him. Like, I don't go nowhere. I don't do anything. Granted, I don't have family like that. So I do get it, but you know, I'm not a friend. We live together. We're a couple. If you know that I really don't get out the house like that, you know, help a sister out. We talk, I talked to him about being with, you know, having time to spend with his family because he is the oldest, even though he's the youngest to me, he's the oldest in his family. So, you know, I get it. I want you to go spend time with your family and, you know, spend time with, with granddaddy and, you know, the people that you want to hang out with. I always told him that. I'm older. I like to sit in the house. And when I do feel like getting outside, I don't want to be around a whole bunch of people. 
So I get it. And I told him that. But it's the... I don't know. I really don't know, y'all. I know he he uh, he really getting under my skin. I know that much. He really starting to get under my skin. It's like this is the thing. My guy is thirty two and forty one, and that age bracket. He act like we we can do it, but I gotta grow patience, and I get it. He hasn't experienced some of the things I have already experienced in life. You know, and I get that. Oh, that's pretty. Can y'all see that? The green in the middle of his feet? That's nice. We're going to put that right there. You know, and I get that. And I try to have patience for him. But when he be acting buku crazy and thinking that I'm just going to sit there and accept it, like, no, we not doing that. I'm too grown to be playing with you like that. I mean, he don't understand that he's talking about age ain't nothing but a number. It, it becomes more than that when you when your maturity level is not at the same plank as mine is. Like I'm not gonna call him in, immature. I will call it to him. <laughs> I'll tell him to his face he acting immature. But I'm not gonna call him immature when I know that he just he's inexperienced. And I'm trying to be patient enough to give him that experience. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, I have been in. A lot of different relationships and I I'm the type of woman that I do not like to have to teach anybody something I feel like they should already know if they want to be in that position I'm not your teacher I raised two kids I had to teach them I don't want to teach no man especially men have that that uh, what is that that macho ego personality like can nobody tell them nothing like they always write and it's just like no I'm not gonna be fighting with you trying to bite the bullet to teach you something that you want to be difficult until you understand what I'm talking about. Like, no, we ain't finna be going through that. You better go talk to one of your guys and figure it out. I'm not finna be teaching you nothing. Like, I don't like stuff like that. I told my last ex that, no, I shouldn't have to teach you what the fuck to do. Uh, you ain't had to teach me how to love you. Why should I have to teach you how to act right? <laughs> like, no. No, heck no. Nah. We ain't on that board. I graduated. <laughs> I don't know what you still doing on there, but I graduated. I ain't playing them games. I think I'm going to semi-seal him because this kid is really, all I really did was do his hands and his feet. I didn't touch his face or anything. So I think I'm just going to start sealing him. I want this baby done. I really want this baby done. He screwed my nerves up, so he gonna be mad because he'll be like, I thought you wanted me to do the eyebrows. It took you damn long. I gave you three weeks to to get his boy eyebrows and you still ain't get him no eyebrows. So I'm not finna wait forever. He ain't no baby going up for sale. This baby is mine. I paid a hundred dollars for this kit. And I'm not finna get what I made for it. Like, do you see this baby? I want 400 for this. You're not gonna get that for no $300 and no 200 and I'm not breaking the price down either. Because I need to buy more kits and I need to buy more supplies. So if I sold him, he's going at he's going to go at four. I seen a lady the other day on Facebook trying to sell a reborn for eight hundred and fifty dollars. Are you freaking kidding me? No, I don't care who made that baby. Eight hundred dollars for a reborn? It ain't wasn't even a toddler, dude. No, this was a newborn freaking baby. I ain't paying no $800 for no reborn. Are you serious? I don't care who made it. It was made by an imperfect person, so it's still going to be imperfect. And you really think because what? You put your time and effort into it, you expect to get $800? No, you're not going to get $800. That's why it's so hard in this community now, because people don't want to break their prices down. And that's why it's taking it so long for people to sell their babies. You're going to have to start breaking your budget. You really want to start breaking your budget in order to sell your dolls because people don't got that type of money no more. Look what everybody is going through in the economy. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty, and I'm following this lady, so I'm I'm finna follow her. I want to know who in the world finna buy this doll. It's a reborn, and it's it's a newborn. <laughs> I ain't paying eight hundred dollars for that. I'm sorry. 
Unless that sucker can drink and piss. No, it better be something special about that baby. Why it's $850. Dude, that's like almost my rent. <laughs> like, no. What you finna do? I better get a big box opening with that baby for $850. Shoot, you paid 12 I paid what? Let me see. I paid two thousand for Ro for uh, Joy. Three thousand for Ellie Mae, and three thousand for Pickles. Uh, Ellie Mae didn't come with a box opening. She was three thousand. She didn't come with nothing. Pickles came with a lots of stuff, and so did Joy. Um, Ellie Mae, di yeah, didn't come with with anything. Like no. So, I I prefer, I love box openings. I love box openings. If I buy a baby from you, that's what I'm expecting. Because every baby that, that I buy, I, that people buy from me, they leave out in a box opening. Unless the person asks not to have a box opening. Then I'll just, you know, dress the baby up cute and everything. But for the majority of the time, anybody that's bought a baby from me, they get a box opening. The last lady that bought a baby from me, I did a box opening. I, yeah, I did a box opening from her. May not be much, you know, but I do give, I do try to put something in the box besides the baby and what the baby has on, you know. If I can afford to let go some of the things that I have, because right now I don't have inventory for, ooh, excuse me, for brand new stuff so that when I sell a baby, when I sell a baby, it can go out. Like, I don't, I'm not set up like that yet. My old nursery, I had it that way. But this apartment is just eating up so much of my rent that it's ridiculous. I'm paying $1,200. Not including paying for a parking spot to park in the parking lot monthly. When we had the cat, we were being charged monthly. So it's like, no, dude, y'all tripping, y'all. This rent too expensive, and the place ain't even worth it, y'all. They letting people have pit bulls in here. We go outside to walk through the hallway. The hallway got carpet. Maintenance don't shampoo the carpet. Dogs be pissing on the carpet when they owners be walking them outside. They be, can't hold it, so they tinkle all over the carpet. These ain't little chihuahua dogs. These are pit bulls. Nasty. I will not walk in the hallway with my shoe, my house shoes just to check the mailbox. Nope, I had to put on my shoes. That's why when I come in my house, I have a rug right by my door, a runner. And you take your shoes off. Don't walk throughout my house with your shoes on because you walked in that hallway. And they, they be having them nasty dogs in the hallway. But no, I, I like animals. Don't get me wrong. I do like animals, but I ain't for that stepping on dog piss. I'm really not. That's not me. That's gross. That's nasty. I ain't up for that. So, I'm just ready to move. I really am ready to move. I've been telling my guy for the longest I'm ready to move, and I don't know what he doing. I don't know what's going on, but apparently something I may not, I must not know about because he still ain't looking for no place yet. And I'm ready to get the heck up out of this apartment. And he like, well, what about... What happens if we can't find a two-bedroom? I said, I'm fine with not having a second room. I will put everything in my nursery in storage until we move again. But we need to be in a place where we can afford all our bills. And right now, we so behind in bills because the rent is so... That's the same thing. Yeah, it is. So, you know, the rent too too freaking high. I don't know what that is, and we're not using that. This is the thick medium. This is what I like, the thick medium. We should have some fun with that real quick. All right, so we're going to seal him up. Yeah, this is going to be freaking fun. So, yeah, I, I like the hands. I think the hands go good with his complexion. Um, hands are tricky when it comes to reborns. Oh, I can't set him up yet. I still got to do his fingertips. Y'all moving fast as heck. I'm tripping.
Yeah, I'm tripping. I can't do. I can't swim. I'll probably do that in another video, y'all. Cause I gotta do his fingertips. <sighs> I'm trying to calm down, y'all. I really am, but he like really flustered me today, and I'm like very, I'm a very sensitive person, which means that when you rock my sensitivity, you rock my nerves, and then I catch attitudes. A lot of people don't understand that. They think I'm just crazy. My sister think I'm just cuckoo. But it's not really, I'm not crazy. I'm overly sensitive to things. And a lot of people don't understand my sensitivity. So they chuck it up as me being an ass. And I'm really not doing that. <laughs> really not trying to be an ass. All right, I just get, I get overly sensitive about stuff. Because it bothers me and... and I don't think people really get that, that I'm overly sensitive to certain things. And they really want me to just take it like a champ. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What? You know, I'm, I'm like baffled by the situation. I'm trying to see if I have a softer tip than the one I'm working with because it might work better. So it, it it has been a terrifying morning for me. Um, this video is going on 30 minutes. This is part one to my painting. I am going to stop this video now and um, start up a new one. So it'll be part one and part two to painting. Okay, everyone. This is Ichi's Babies. I'm signing out. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Please remember to share my channel because sharing is caring.